Hey everybody, welcome back to the CSWPA surfacing series. This is going to be a quicker video showing a few more surfacing related tools in SOLIDWORKS. The next video will cover what I missed in this video in terms of tools, and then the following videos will be more fun as they're going to be all hands-on using real parts. First, let's look at Replace Face, which is a great feature for when editing imported parts or needing to make quick changes as it is kind of like a quick band-aid solution to change a face. It can also be used in your own parts, but I tend not to. In this section of our surface, we can see that the surface is ending, and then another larger surface above it, which is kind of curvy, but it's not connected to it. If we wanted the unconnected surface to be where our surface ends, we can use the replace face. Select the unconnected surface as our new face, and then the end of our surface as the original surface. As we can see, the surrounding surfaces extend to our new face. Next, let's take a look at the offset surface. This is a very simple feature which allows you to offset a surface to create a new surface. We can select this surface over here, this face, and then offset it, which results in a new face or surface offset from the original. This feature can also be very useful for converting parts of a solid body into a surface. However, to convert a whole solid body into a surface body, the best way is to delete and then replace a face, but I'll make a video on that technique in the future. The ruled surface creates a surface which is mathematically defined as a ruled surface, which means from any point along one edge, you can draw a line perpendicular to the edge of the surface, going to another point on the surface, and that line you draw will be straight. That might not be the best explanation, but if you search up a ruled surface on Wikipedia, or you just use them, you might get a better idea about the mathematical definition. Anyways, there's a few options for creating this ruled surface from the edges of a different surface, which you can play around with yourself, but they're all pretty self-explanatory. Tangent makes the surface tangent at all points. Normal makes it normal at every point, which is basically just saying perpendicular. You can also define the direction using a vector or using a guide curve for a sweep, but I rarely use this in my own surfacing related projects. Let's say on this exposed area, we wanted to add a simple flat surface to just patch it up. The planar surface lets you select any number of sketches or edges on the same plane and use the space bounded by them to create a surface on that plane. If you need to create a surface on a plane, the planar surface is the best way to do it. Next here is Delete Face, which is very often used especially when working with imported geometry and changing imported geometry, but you also sometimes use it in your own models. This is a very important feature that you should remember. Let's say we want to get rid of the surface which is protruding from the surface below it. We can use the Delete Face to get rid of the protruding surface. We can also select Delete and Fill to automatically fill what would have been a gap in the surface, much like using the Fill Surface or Delete Hole feature which we'll look at soon. The delete and patch can patch up corners. For example, if deleting a fillet, it would make the corner into a perpendicular one. But we won't look at that here, as it's a little more complicated than that. Lastly, in this video, we have the delete hole. This is a feature similar to the filled surface, except more simple to use. The hole we have in our surface can be selected, and it is filled regardless of curvature in the part. You can think of this as a simplified fill surface feature, which is easier to use or at least that's how I think about it. Filled surface can then be used in more complicated scenarios, such as when there are multiple competing curvatures due to different surfaces meeting up. Thank you for watching this video. Like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications if you learned anything. And in the next video, we'll finish off the surfacing features so we can get to the more fun parts of using surfaces, looking at real world parts.